a shame it had to end this way. You could have had a nice, peaceful, faded death. But instead, <laughs> you forced my hand to get involved. You could have just stayed away from what was mine. And I wouldn't have ever had to lay my hands on you. You would have never known I existed. What a shame, though. <laughs> you were destined to die right about now anyways. But now, I kill you myself. Maybe next time you'll learn. <laughs> it's a shame, too. I bet you could have made someone really happy. But you just had to try and take. What is mine from me? <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Person. I can be seen. Let me finish this quickly. Oh, oh. Darling, what are you doing here? Don't panic, I'm just doing my job. That, that's all. Just doing my job, you know. I, I'm a, a reaper, Death. When, when people die, I'm, I'm always there. It's just, that's just how it tends to be, you know? Look, I know this, darling, I know this looks bad, and, yeah, I guess I am covered in blood. It's just part of my job. And look, sometimes, um, sometimes I need to... Sometimes I need to put them out of their misery, or, well, I can't be seen by someone, and you were coming around the corner, and I didn't know you were coming around the corner. I thought you were just some random person that might have potentially seen me, and that would have been bad, but then I, I knew it was you the moment you turned the corner, so I didn't vanish immediately. That's all. <laughs> Look, look, she was gonna die anyways. I... I don't hurt anyone unless they're already fated to die. She was going to die anyways. Something much worse than me, obviously. <laughs> she was... she was going to be killed in a much, much worse way. There is a really nasty... Nasty person on the loose. And they like kidnapping people and torturing them. And that's not a really nice way to go. I didn't torment them. I gave them a quick death. That's, that's what I did, okay? <laughs> Look, I know, I know you humans don't like it when people die. But it's part of life. my job. It's just my job, silly. Don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. I love you. 
I love you a lot, okay? Stop. Look at me. You're supposed to look at me. I'm the one that loves you. I'm the one that keeps you safe from all sorts of dangers. Don't want to make me mad, do you? So look at me. Don't look at that corpse behind me. They don't matter, they're dead. You're alive, they're dead. They don't matter. I have never told you this, darling. But I get very, very jealous. Maybe more than you know. Maybe I've told you about my jealousy before. But I might not have told you how much it is. <laughs> I don't like getting angry. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. I don't like getting angry. But sometimes you do something and I just have to correct it. That's all. <laughs> I'm here to protect you after all. Keep you safe. Protect you from all of the dangerous things. So that one day, I'll have you as mine, forever. <laughs> Look. To you, that person clearly meant something. But I should mean more, shouldn't I? The reason they're gone is because you couldn't keep your eyes on me. At the end of the day, it's your fault. Your fault that she did. So next time, don't make me jealous. glad we have an understanding. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> I'm glad we have an understanding. Remember, don't you ever make me jealous again. Or my work will turn very personal. <laughs> and you know what they say. You want to keep your job and your personal life separate. Because your job is your job and your personal life is just that, your personal life. If you turn your job into your personal life, your life just becomes soulless and monotonous. If you turn your personal life into a job, then, well, it happens anyways. It all just blends into work. And that would be a shame, wouldn't it? For me to have such a soulless, boring, unfulfilling life. Well, not really life. It would make me unhappy, and you don't want that. Because when I'm unhappy, you'll be unhappy. <laughs> I'm a lot different to when we first met. <laughs> silly, silly. No, I'm not. I'm just a bit more me. That's all. I have become comfortable with you. And so I don't hide as much. Because let's be honest. Where will you run? If I spook you. <laughs> I 
usually you go to when I worry you. Exactly. You'll never be able to run from me. And so what do I have to fear? <laughs> This mess. Okay, and then we'll go home. I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm done, sweetheart. <laughs> no more potty, no more blood, nothing. Even on me, see? <laughs> Magic. I cleaned it all up. Don't worry. No one will ever find out. They'll just disappear one day. <laughs> Maybe. And remember, sweetheart, this was your fault. They were fated to die. But you forced my Okay? So don't flirt or look at any other girls but me. Oh no. You can't hide it from me. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Anyways, it's late. Let's go home. <laughs> Maybe we could scare some trick-or-treaters on the way. Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> oh, or maybe you want to hand out candy and be nice to them. Either works. As long as I'm there with you. Darling. 